I think this is chapter three, and this is called The Door is Ajar. It's May 13th, uh, 2022, at about 4.26 p.m., as those are some measurements of time that I'm referencing uh, in this moment. And um, so um, what I'm trying to do, I think I'm getting better, but I kind of, on the one hand, I want to share some things that I reflect on some things, Ma, you know, as I've been thinking about things and reflecting on them, and as we get to continue to connect and you connect me, communicate, help me communicate with uh, other uh, other beings, Grandma and Grandpa and Jim and, and other people, other folks, and Marty, uh, and uh, just sort of this way of, just different ways of being, than, um, or other ways of being. Um, and, um, but also I kind of want to um, be kind of spontaneous because I like appreciate, you know, kind of being thoughtful and kind of Zen. What I think about is Zen or, or spontaneous or something like that. So um, this uh, title of this this main idea right now is called the doors ajar. And remember, Ma, uh, I think I was about. I want to paint as clear a picture as I can, so. Uh, so we can uh, try to really feel ourselves being there. Just like you used to say, you know, name the person I'm talking about, because I think I used to say, well, I, I mean, you don't know them, or you might not know them or something, but I, but I appreciate what you said, because it's true, always, you know, like, be as specific as, as we can, uh, and clear as we can, but then also open and flexible, too. So um, I think I was about... I think it was about the mid 1980s, and I think and you were um, talking with I want to say Ed Booker, who was uh, I just remember as you guys were kind of talking, but like a few years I think it was a few years ago, uh, or over the years I can't, maybe asked you a couple times about it, and um, you were you said that that he was interviewing you, um, talking to you either about like an article that he was writing or a book, uh, and it was in. Beaufort, um, either North Carolina or Beaufort, South Carolina. But the the, the point, the uh, the doors ajar thing, is um, when we were, uh, you had rented a car, and uh, and the car, uh, at one point the car went, ding ding, the door is ajar, ding ding, the door is ajar. And we, uh, remember, we just couldn't stop laughing. We were like, a door is a jar. I thought a door is a door and a jar is a jar. And we just, we just had a good time. It was a riot, but nobody got hurt, as far as I know. Um, but, um, but anyway, so that's what I keep coming back to me. And sometimes I don't know to what extent, like I feel like it's coming, I don't know like where it's coming from me and or others and, you know, what, what comes first and, it matters, it doesn't matter, I don't know. But um, anyway, so I keep thinking about the door, that time, the door is ajar, and one of the just exponential blessings, I'll say one of the exponential blessings, that's kind of a funny thing to think about, way, but um, that, uh, you know, I've been, I've, I really feel you, Ma, and thank you, and, and I feel like you're connecting me with other people and maybe grandma I don't know who's connecting with who and what uh, so I feel different levels of kind of general feelings or stronger feelings and sometimes specific words or whatever um, but you uh, you've always you always the door is always ajar with you and it it continues it, it, it you know it always and uh, you know I've gotten to the point where I think Everything is is present, uh, like you said. Uh, I think Kaf was it Kafka. Somebody said, "The past is never dead." Something like that, because um, it's always you know it's always going. So um, anyway, so uh, the door the door is ajar, and uh, you know I, I want to be specific and give specific examples as much as I can, or kind of. Um, go more into that so um, 
I'll probably do that, you know, with other chapters, um, maybe to some extent. It might be in every chapter to some extent. I don't know. But like, for example, last Friday, today is the, let's say the 13th. So I guess Friday was the 8th. Um, I got, uh, you know, I was like, I, I felt the words from Jim saying, Jim and I, uh, Jim and I get to listen to uh, Science Friday together. And uh, so, and the, also the thing about the context of the moment, because receiving, um, you know, it's just the context of the moment. There's so many different dynamics and sometimes it's similar and sometimes it's different and sometimes it's more and other meanings and, and stuff. Um, and so, um, and I, so I feel like you've connected me, um, you know, with Jim and grandma and, uh, it, it feels like, um, you know, it just feels like it's, it's, a, it's just a, a gathering party. Um, any, anyway, there's a lot of, um, actually, I don't know if it's a party, but anyway, um, um, anyway, I would give, give other examples, um, and I, I think what I want to do is get more, focus more in depth with some specific examples, um, maybe in each chapter or something, um, you know, uh, um, so thank you for always, always keeping the door ajar, and it's kind of a funny moment, um, thing, but, um, thank you, and, uh, and just don't, don't leave me, um, that's another reflection, actually, and something, well, anyway, I'll, I'll um, um, <laughs> there's so much, and there's so much that in some ways it's very frustrating because I want to, you know, kind of receive it in its full fullness um, uh, and, and that kind of thing. But in some ways it's just like that's, you know, just kind of taking, taking lives, lives in, taking energies and spirits in, receiving energies and spirits and stuff. So, um, oh, one thing I think, like recently, uh, and even other times, like I felt your presence, and I, I've had these these visions, like in different moments, whether it's you and I see you, um, and you say you told me um, I'm going to have to process whatever happens, and there are other moments that I receive you, and I, and for the most part, it seems like I've kind of, you know, been upset because. You know, it's kind of like when I was a kid, small kid, and I feel like you're hugging me really hard, and it's like, Mommy, you're squashing me. Um, but it feels all kinds of things because, you know, then I've, as I've kind of received different aspects of that. Um, it could be related, I think it's related to, you know, processing different things that's happening. And um, then also your presence, I feel like, um, I feel like um, it's helped me uh, receive uh, Jim and Grandma, and I, and I don't know to what extent Grandma is involved. I'm kind of putting you kind of in the front here, because you're kind of, you know, the front of my mind uh, in a way. But but thank you, Ma and Jim, and uh, I've been thinking about Marty and Dale and Yanni, uh, and um, continue these conversations with you, Ma. And, and other beings and um, and uh, as other community members uh, uh, just uh, as we were in just the different spaces so I um, love you I love you always uh, I I feel like there's no I because there's, there's we there is no I I'm not separate and I'm really feeling that and the one of the things that uh, been helpful is that through um, a lot of this life uh, coming from this mouth uh, is uh, has been like places of sort of not feeling, um, if that makes sense. And I feel I that can be I'm gonna be more specific later, I guess. But when I, I really feel, I really feel your heart, and I felt it in different ways. 
and so I and, and um, like I said before, I, I kind of receive your, your mindset, and it's helped me be calm in moments. Um, uh, help, you know. So anyway, uh, I love you. There's just there's so much, <laughs> and so oh, and uh, you know, not just. I mean, yes, Marty and Dale and Yanni, but also Bishop Desmond Tutu and Thich Nhat Hanh and Betty White, bless her silly self. Uh, and so I love you. No, no, I love you. There's no I. I believe, we believe. Anyway, love you. Uh, to be continued.